My name is Danielle and I'm a wellness coach here at the Y and today I'll be sharing safety tips for the sauna, the steam room and our hot tub. Here at the Y we have a sauna and a steam room. The difference is the sauna uses dry heat and the steam room uses moist heat. So there's rocks in there and that you pour water on, the water creates a humidity level in the steam room and um, that's, that's what creates the heat for us. So. When talking about being in the steam room and the sauna, it's really important to first drink water before you go in. I would say at least a bottle, but you want to stay hydrated um, throughout the day as much as you can. Next, I would, um, when you're coming out of the steam room, you want to make sure you drink three to four glasses of water. It's really dehydrating. Most people lose approximately a pint of sweat while they're in the sauna and steam room, so it's important to replenish that moisture in your body. Furthermore, it is important that we do not exercise while we are in the sauna and the steam room, that we stay still, either by sitting or laying down. Exercise will increase your body's temperature and it's already warm in the sauna and the steam room, so your core temperature is already being risen. So if we raise it too much, you'll get overheated and that takes blood away from your brain, so you can get dizzy, drowsy, and feel a little nauseated if you you, um, do that. Lastly, it is important to remember to, to have a proper cool down once you leave the sauna and the steam room. It is suggested to give yourself five minutes to bring your body back to our normal temperature. And you can do that either by taking a shower next to the sauna and the steam room or stepping into the pool. You can ease into the pool or jump right in if you want. One session in the sauna and steam room should last 15 minutes or less. Before we enter the hot tub, it's important that we rinse off um, it with using the showers to rinse off any lotions or soap or deodorant that we may have on us, which can clog the drain and harm the mechanical system of the hot tub. Also, it's important to make sure that you are only in the hot tub for 20 minutes or less. Otherwise, you may start to feel overheated and dizzy and drowsy um, from being in the hot tub, and nobody wants to fall asleep while we're in a hot tub. When entering the hot tub, it is really important to make sure that you enter in slowly to allow your body to adjust to the heat of the water. And then next, it's very important to remember not to ever put your head under the water. There are drains that um, have a suction action, and if they catch your hair or catch a piece of your clothing, it's, it can be difficult to come back up out of the water. So when you're in a hot tub, you always want to make sure to keep your head above the water. After exercising, it's important to give yourself a break between exercising and entering the hot tub. Exercise will increase your core temperature, so you're already at an elevated state. So then when you go to enter in the hot tub, it will raise your, can raise your core temperature even more. So you want to make sure you give yourself a proper cool down time in between exercising and entering the hot tub. Also, once you leave the hot tub, you want to give your body um, a proper cool down time as well to adjust back to our normal temperature. So you can do that by jumping into the pool or giving yourself a nice cool down time in the locker room. The sauna, steam room, and hot tub are adult only areas and they're open the same hours as the Y. If you have any questions on the sauna, steam room, and hot tub, you can ask the front desk or ask the wellness coaches.